All right, in this clip, we're going to talk about how to change motorcycle oil. It's pretty simple. If you've uh, changed car oil before, the procedure is basically the same, but the parts are in different locations. If you haven't, I'm going to walk you through it. So um, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've followed the maintenance schedule on your, uh, on your motorcycle. For this particular bike and most sports bikes, it's every 4,000 miles or six months. But once again, check your maintenance schedule and make sure that you stick to it because that's going to be your best bet in making sure your motorcycle functions properly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you've researched out and found the correct oil filter for your motorcycle and also uh, good oil. Some, some good oil that you can get is, uh, there's many types you can look online. One of them is uh, Chevron, it's a 15 weight 40 and that's a petroleum oil, not a synthetic. Um, but anyway, the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to drain the oil and down here, the uh, the oil drain on most motorcycles, most bikes, is located at the bottom just like a car. It's going to be kind of down in this area right here. And you're going to need a uh, monkey wrench to loosen the bolt. And make sure you have a drip pan so that the oil uh, falls into it. I'm going to show you how this is done in a second. Um, the other thing is there is an oil filter which is about right there. And you'll need an oil filter wrench to remove it. Or if you're strong enough, you can use your bare hands. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and drain the oil out of the engine. Uh, what you want to make sure is that the engine's been running for a little bit, maybe five, ten minutes. Just get it up to normal temperature. Um, because what you want to have is uh, oil that's not so viscous. If you drain it with a cold engine, you're not going to get all the oil out. When the engine's hot, it'll all drain into the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen the nut now. And you may want to watch your fingers because the oil is hot when it comes out of the engine. And make sure you have a drainage pan to catch the oil. All right, to make sure that all the oil drains out, you're going to want to open up this uh, intake uh, hole. This is where you pour in all the oil. You're going to want to make sure this is out so that air can get in so that all of the oil actually drains out of the engine. All right, so now that we've got all the oil drained out of here, um, something else that you can do with each oil change is you can uh, change the oil filter, which is right here. Um, the filter usually just unscrews, and it's easier to do it with an oil filter wrench. You'll just take this off, and then a little bit of oil will drain out of there. Let that drain out, and uh, put your new filter on. And uh, you, don't wanna, you only want to do about two turns past when the uh, O-ring makes contact with the engine. But um, now we're going to go ahead and put the nut back in, and then we're going to put some new oil in this engine. Okay, so uh, next step is to put oil into the motorcycle. So you're going to want to consult your motorcycle owner manual to uh, know how much oil to put in your motorcycle. There's also on this motorcycle a little window over here which indicates whether your oil level is low or full. We'll show you that in just a minute. But it's easiest to do with a funnel. So put a funnel in here and take your oil and just start putting oil into the bike. Okay, so now that we've got the oil in the motorcycle, I'm going to go ahead and put the cap back on the engine so we don't end up with oil all over the place. All right, I'm going to check the level. Uh, most motorcycles have a window here. Some have a dipstick, but it uh, has a little window here which says it's low or full. And looks okay right now. So we're going to start the bike up. And the reason we're going to do this is because we need to let the oil run through the bike because it's going to actually change the level of the oil on the meter. So you just need to let it cycle a couple times through. We're going to check the oil again. 
So now it indicates it's low. So you're going to jockey this back and forth, putting oil in, just a little bit more in, checking the level, starting the bike, checking the level again until it says full and it stables out at full after having run the engine. So we're going to put a little bit more oil in this bike now. All right, so now that we've put in oil, started the engine, checked the level, we're going to check the final level now. This is where you check, and you never check when the bike is sitting on its kickstand. You want to always make sure the bike, pull it up to level if you've got a side kickstand, or if you've got a center stand, that's fine. Let it stay, stay on the center stand. So as you can see, got the bike level now. Our oil is right up on the full mark, so we have successfully changed the oil on this bike. Now, something else to make sure is, is don't touch the muffler when you're digging off the oil filter because you might burn your hand. But other than that, that's how you change oil on a motorcycle.